What we do here is go back, 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 back. What's going on guys? It's your boy Brad back with another video. And uh, what I wanted to do in this one is I kind of want to talk about the relationship that a heavy person has with food. And uh, I kind of touched on this in my previous video talking about how food is an addiction for me. Um, but I really want to talk about the relationship and the mindset that goes into a heavy person and their thoughts on food. So it really stems from the fact that in order to get to my weight, it took years of poor decisions, poor eating choices that eventually became a habit and led to me descending to this current uh, state of being that I am. And, you know, what it became is my relationship with food changed, right? I'm not eating to sustain myself, to give myself the nutrients, the proteins, the carbs, the fats that I need, need in order to continue. I was consuming things in order to satiate what I wanted, not what I needed, right? Get pizza, something that's bad for me, something I don't need. Get pizza, right? That's an unhealthy choice. And then the bigger I got, the more I ate, the more that I would actually consume per setting. And went from maybe having half the pizza to eating the whole pizza, right? And getting to the point, eating to the point where I didn't think that I was full until I felt stuffed. And that's the mindset, right? That's the, that's your thought process at this weight is I'm going to eat what tastes good, what is satisfying, that instant gratification, and I'm going to eat that until I am stuffed. And only then am I full. And only then am I done eating. And you do that for every meal. And you do that for every day. And them days turn into weeks and into months. And before you know it, a few years have passed and you are where I am. And that is your mindset that has been compounded over those years. And that is now your current reality. And so you go from all of that, packing on mad weight, right? Maybe you're like me. Maybe you packed on 50, 60 pounds, 70 pounds. Maybe you packed on 100. I did. And over all that time, now it's like, well, shit. Now I, got to un I have to undo everything that I just did. But the very first and most important key to that, for me anyway, it's changing my mindset and my relationship with food. Because I have done some serious damage, not only physically, but mentally. And so it's a matter of changing my mindset to say, hey, obviously, I need to make healthier choices. I need to eat. I don't need to eat that pizza. I maybe need to eat some grilled chicken. I maybe need to have some tur lean turkey, whatever it is. Some lean proteins. I don't need to eat until I'm just feeling like a piece of crap, like Louis C.K. would say. I need to eat until I'm full, until I am comfortable, and I need to stop. I need to portion my meals out, right? Furthermore, you know, it's a matter of, again, going back to eating to give me what I need, the energy and the nutrients I need, as opposed to what I want. And, you know, a lot of people say when it comes to physical fitness and overcoming your your health and your problems and getting back to a better physical version of you that you have to get in the gym you got to get exercise you got to get moving you just got to get moving get out of that recliner but for a lot of people that's the easy part for a lot of people the most difficult part is that food that relationship with food and so i say all of that to say if you're struggling with losing weight if you have packed on weight over a number of years you have to understand, first of all, you got to change your relationship with food. You got to do some self-analysis, look at how you eat, how frequently you eat, how much you eat, what you're consuming. And then you have to make a plan to make changes. Take the proper steps in order to correct and reverse those bad habits. And also understand, it may have taken you years to pack on that 100 pounds like I did. It's going to take, you can imagine, it's going to take roughly the same amount of time in order to get back to that to that fit physical condition that you were in before you did all that damage. It's kind of the nature of the game. It's an endurance race. It's not, it's not a sprint. 
That's all I got for you guys. I hope you enjoyed the video. If you're new to the channel, be sure to hit that subscribe button. I'm dropping content every week to motivate, uplift, and inspire you to be the best version of you that you can be. I hope you subscribe and join me here as I build bass, and I'll catch you guys in the next video. Peace.